Okay. You should be able to sign in. Let's. Yeah. Okay. We already have 16 participants. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's give a couple of minutes more so we can start yep. in next two to three minutes. Yeah, we started a bit early because we were so eager to meet everyone. <laughs> Hey, hey, Thierry, nice to meet you here. Hello, everyone. So we still have a couple of minutes uh, to start. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we have participants from Canada, uh, London, Lisbon, Portugal. So it's it's quite a global audience today. Awesome. We love when it is about global publishing. So it's really good to see everyone all around the world. Um, Hello, Andrea. Nice to meet you. Hello, Navid. So it's uh, almost time. Well, I'll give one more minute. Uh, I'll let everyone join and then we can start our session. Sounds good. And feel free to prepare your questions as well. So if you have everything that you want to ask, we are here for you. So, sure. so, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Publish Drive's webinar. My name is Abi and I'm Relationship Manager at Publish Drive and your host today. Uh, today's session will be focused on how to increase your book revenue with Publish Drive. Uh, this is designed to help indie authors and publishers just as you. For our new subscribers, let me tell you more about Publish Drive. So we at Publish Drive provide a self-publishing platform to digitally publish your ebooks, audiobooks, and print on demand. The platform is built for all types of users from even one single book to thousands of books. We have published almost 100, 100K plus books right now. Uh, we, are, we have one of the biggest, uh, widest distribution network uh, with inbuilt features as promotions, uh, advertising, reporting, and also uh, reporting of your revenue. 
So we always uh, strive to add new features for our authors and publishers, those who are already published with us. Uh, last year, we saw uh, this, an increase in digital book sales uh, during this market change due to pandemic. Uh, and we experienced a growth of 69% that published right this year. So yeah, that's something which we are going to discuss now. And joining us today to talk about the platform is Kinga, founder and CEO of Published Right. Hi Kinga, thank you for joining me. And yeah, I'll just start with how is 2021 going so far? Thank you, Abhi, and hey everyone, it's really nice to see you all here. And yeah, as I mentioned previously, if you have any questions, feel free to type in. And uh, yeah, 2021 is really a good year so far. So I just looked at our numbers basically last week and um, because we will be also looking at some cool analytics that we will share with you guys very soon um, and some data what's going on on the market. And we could see that compared to last year, same period, like the first and second quarter of 2021 was really strong. It was actually 92% more like in terms of sales book sales for our publishers and authors than last year, same period, which is awesome. So it means that uh, everyone who's publishing right now, you can actually uh, take advantage of all the stores that we uh, give you guys and also uh, you will be able to use all the promotional tools as well that can help you build more sales. Um, and uh, yeah, some other cool stuff that we could see that uh, some of the stores that were performing really well were Storytel, Tolino Group, um, Google on the audiobook side as well, for instance, and Hopla, which is more a digital um, library provider. So if you have never heard about them, you should check them out. They are really cool uh, library provider. Uh, we could also see that uh, Amazon was strong on the print side. So it's, it's no uh, surprise that uh, print on demand was on the rise last year because of the whole, um, you know, stores were closed down in 2020. However, we can see that this trend is continuing in 2021 as well. So whoever is into print books, you should definitely take some tour on the Publish Right platform to look at what you can do with that. And um, there are some cool um, business models, especially in the Asian area, which performs really well. It's called, uh, one of them is called uh, this kind of episodic business model where uh, readers buy books based on episodes uh, and Dream was one of the uh, stores which supported that as the first one in the Publish Drive channel network and they perform really well. So I would suggest you guys, if you have a book that fits into Dream's profile that you go there as well. And yeah, I don't wanna take too much time in terms of this whole analytics part and, and data part, uh, but some interesting stuff that was going on, which countries were growing really fast is Germany. One of them in uh, Germany is really cool that is, is growing in a, in a fast uh, paid space. Uh, and also India, uh, France, um, Austria. So uh, France, Austria uh, are from Europe and also Sweden. Uh, that is from the European area, which is growing really fast. However, we could see that obviously UK, US uh, are growing really fast. And as I mentioned, this kind of episodic model is really popular in Singapore. Um, and yeah, which are the best categories is basically about uh, romance that we could see that was performing well, no surprise again, um, but we could see social science on the nonfiction side and uh, that was uh, performing really well and fantasy is really strong this year so far. So these are just a few uh, interesting insights what we could see so far uh, about the numbers and this year. Uh, and I'm sure that we have a really cool period in front of us because Christmas is really coming in, you know, in the fourth quarter. So we still have some time to prepare for the Christmas rush and make sure that we can take advantage of all the promotions that are happening around Christmas time, which is the busiest uh, part of the year um, for all the authors and, and publishers of Publish Drive. Great, thank you. So before, before we start the actual agenda, so some house rules, uh, 
So the length of the session is 45 minutes and this would be recorded. We would share the link through email with all the participants. So those who, would, who have missed would also get this. And the session is divided into three parts. Uh, the first one is uh, the latest and the best practices for self-publishers and authors. Uh, second one would be the walkthrough of the published Drive platform. And a third one would be a question and answer round at the end with uh, Kinga. So please ask your questions in the Q&A panel. We will try to pick a few of them and address them at the end of the session. But if uh, the time doesn't allow us to answer remaining questions, we, they would be sent together along with the recording link in the emails. So please put your questions in the Q&A panel and we'll try to answer them. So uh, to start the first, uh, first topic, I would ask him uh, about the best practices uh, you wanna share with self-publishers and self-authors. Yes, yeah, so whenever you are into uh, publishing a new book, uh, you, there are a lot of things that you have to consider before going uh, into the whole publishing journey. Uh, one of them is obviously the main, um, you know, marketing materials about your book, which starts with your cover. So the cover is super important to have it in a very cool design way which is similar to the books that you feel that your book is in general similar to. Um, and then you can basically build some kind of design which is still outstanding when people are browsing. So I think that's super important if you can hire some visual um, designers for that. And uh, of, of course, to have all the metadata in place, metadata is basically about um, everything that describes your book. So all kind of data, starting with your blurb, or your title or uh, the categories. Categories are super important because that's how uh, readers will actually see which books uh, are fitting into the category of the stores. And that's what stores are actually using to place your book in the right place for uh, the readers. So if you don't have that nailed down, then it, it might hurt your sales numbers in general. Um, then if you can do and you have time for launching a pre-order campaign, that's super important to drive sales on the long term uh, because for a pre-order, you don't need too much. You just need um, a placeholder content file and the placeholder cover. Of course, if you have uh, the first draft of, of the cover or even the final one, it's even better, but you can start with that. And then you can start building up, you know, beta readers and all kind of um, you know, relationships with readers and also the campaign itself to um, start getting uh, pre-order sales because on the launch date, you will basically get all the pre-order sales counted as one. Um, um, and that really helps to get into the bestseller categories. Uh, so I would really suggest for you to do that. You can even set up pre-orders up to one year. I think on Barnes & Noble, it's half a year. But other than that, all the other stores can accept one year pre-order uh, session, which is super cool. Um, then uh, if you have the book already published, then you can start getting book reviews as well uh, with book review campaigns. You can use several tools within the published drive platform as well to get free review copies that you can send to bloggers or journalists, um, but you can also use some other tactics uh, in regards to that. Um, then if you have some marketing background or if you don't, uh, you can still use uh, several tools that are available for authors and uh, independent publishers, such as Facebook ads. Uh, we still see that if you want to build an author brand, um, then you can use Facebook uh, as a very effective tool for that. Um, to track how much sales you actually generated through the Facebook ad is not as easy as it would be with an Amazon uh, advertising, for instance. However, it still uh, gives you a lot of visibility to uh, a lot of readers you can target to. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned, Amazon advertising, uh, this is also the most um, popular advertising tool among self-published authors. 
um, because you can basically uh, target everyone who is um, browsing on Amazon and has a purchasing intent, which is already much better than, you know, someone just checking their Facebook friends, whether they had a new dog or a new baby or whatever. So it's a totally different uh, scenery. And um, yeah, if you can um, start using that, that will help definitely to um, drive your sales, especially if you have some help, like what we built with um, um, Publish Drive. It's a, an inbuilt Amazon advertising feature that can be used by anyone. Um, and it's basically working like that, that we help with the targeting as well. So if you are a newbie into Amazon advertising, that can be a bit intimidating. Uh, but if you have some help from us, for instance, then it will um, gain you more uh, sales at the end of the day, because that's why we are actually doing it to get you more sales. And um, yes, of course, if you have a book launch, you should create your own uh, website, Facebook page, all the social media channels that you can think of. I also started to see that a lot of um, authors start to play with TikTok, which is one of the trending social media platforms. Um, so if you have some uh, more extroverted um, vision, how you want to brand yourself as an author, feel free to do that because TikTok is a really cool place to start with. And um, then, if you can um, make connections with other authors, because the author community is really a strong one, uh, you can actually reach out to other authors to collaborate or even, you know, uh, do email swaps because that's also really powerful. If you start collecting your own emails throughout your website or your on your social media or other ways, um, you can actually do email swaps with the other more experienced or um, you know, um, more pro authors who are in the business for several years already and have a huge uh, audience. And that can really help the both of you uh, to actually gain more sales at the end of the day. So if you can do that, that's even better. And, and uh, yeah, I think uh, if you are in the uh, part when you already are scheduling the whole year, what kind of, you know, price promotions you should run, maybe in the future you can think strategically, okay, uh, if it, my book is about some kind of romance story, then Valentine's Day should be the most important uh, holiday during the whole year where I want to run price promotions and I also can support that with additional marketing effort like you can get placement in uh, written word medias um, email newsletters or book bob um, you can also uh, start facebook uh, campaigns around that price promotion as well uh, so basically everything can be strategized around uh, a price promo and we could also see that if you have a series for instance and you start um, with the first part of the series, which is for free, at least for a few days, then you might get a lot of uh, new leads coming in who will buy actually the second and the third or however, how many um, books you have in the series in general uh, later on as well. So that, that's also really helpful if you can do that um, to actually think strategically about your pricing opportunities and not just um, having one price set. And you can you know, pivot and also um, optimize the whole pricing strategy that you have uh, because it's, it's really an internal part of the whole uh, marketing strategy that you put together. So in a nutshell, these are a few best practices that I would uh, suggest uh, to do before and after the launch. Okay. So uh, let's move, move on to the next part where I would be showing you a walkthrough of the platform. So I'll just try to uh, log in into my account. So give me a few seconds. Yeah, I love live demos because you Never know what happens. <laughs> uh, I think I might have to share my screen. Yes. Just a moment. Yes, I think now you should be able to. 
Yes, I am able to share the screen now. So let me know if you're able to see my screen. Sarah? I agree. Yep, perfectly. Okay, good. So recently we have changed our interface and this is the new interface into your account once you, once you log in into your account. As you can see, this would be the dashboard where you get bits and pieces of information about uh, your accounts, like your weekly sales, uh, your weekly earnings, uh, what's your best selling book for this week, your books, how many books have you published, how many books are still in processing, and uh, how many books have been incomplete, uh, your ads and promotions, how many ads have you set up, whether you're running an Amazon ad, your featuring campaigns, how many featuring campaigns have you submitted, um, any price promotion activity which has been going on. So you can also see all the promotion options from here. And on the right hand side, uh, you would see if there is any upcoming payment coming in, if there are more, uh, if the sales are low, what can you do to grow your sales? And also the activity feed. So for uh, the notifications of, of your account. So this is the dashboard in a nutshell. So the, the interface which we wanted to create was basically uh, the one wherein everything is one click away. So as you can see, if I go to the next option, which is my books, I would be able to go to the book library where I have all my books listed, whether published, whether they are in draft or whether they are in processing right now. So as you can see that some of the books have been published, some of the books have been in draft. So as uh, you have received uh, the, uh, this book in processing mode where it has to be corrected, some details have to be corrected and this book is published and the other ones are in draft. Now, this is where you can also find any of the books in your account, also upload the books. So you can upload uh, a single book, or you can also do a bulk upload. Uh, the bulk upload currently works for all eBooks and print-on-demand books. So you can upload from five to 10 to 100 books at one time into our system. And if you wanna upload a single book, you just need to click on this, select the option, the type of book you want to upload, whether it can be eBook, audiobook, and print. So the file type for all the three different options would be different. So let's start, let's look at ebook. So if I, I want to upload an ebook, I would be directed to this page, wherein it would require me an EPUB file for the content and also a cover image in JPG format. So I just need to drag those files and drop it here or click on this and just upload those files. And then uh, I need to fill in the rest of the details like the name of the creator, uh, the important metadata details, ISBN, uh, provide a brief description of the book, uh, select up to three categories uh, where my book comes in. Uh, this is important to also list your books in important uh, in the correct category at the stores. Uh, select the target audience, uh, put a price uh, in USD or whether copy that price in all the different currencies, uh, provide the details about copyrights and publication date. And then you need to select an imprint or let's say different stores, uh, which you wanna publish. Currently in the account, I have different imprint settings made. So I can select different uh, imprints where I wanna publish to. And once you have all the details done, you just hit on publish and the book would be sent to us for the review. And once uh, it takes up to 24 hours for our team to review, and then the, the books is sent to the stores which you have selected. Now moving on to the next option, we have promotions. So we provide a mix of paid promotions and also unpaid or advanced promotions. Paid promotions include Amazon ads, which you can run from your account. I'll just give you a peek of Amazon ads. And Abhi, uh, we have some questions around the Amazon ads. So I think this is the right time when we can answer them as well, which is 
watch much easier than just at the end of the whole presentation if if you are okay with that sure sure i can actually so can you explain yeah sure if if uh, yeah so this is amazon ad uh, preview uh, currently we have one uh, campaign in uh, which is currently running in this account and i'll show you the details of this campaign so the current this campaign is active and it's been currently running uh, from this date to this date. And you can also define the budget and the bid and set a start date to end date. Kinga, you want to add something onto it? Uh, basically, we have two questions here. Uh, one of them is, can you explain in more detail about Publish Drive's Amazon ad function that is being done right now? So I think uh, that's that's a really good one. Uh, we can take a look at the targeting options maybe later. Um, and the other one, which relates to Amazon ads, is more about how we will be, uh, yeah. So basically, someone wants to um, promote their book, which is published by someone else on Amazon, and whether and how they can use that uh, Amazon advertising feature within Publish Drive. So that is also possible, as I mentioned previously, um, that you can actually just simply uh, create a campaign where you add uh, the book uh, ID on Amazon, because we ask, okay, whether this book was published by us or by you or by someone else, basically, um, on Amazon, because it is not required that you publish the book throughout Publish Drive to use this functionality. And um, basically, that's all. Then you can just start uh, the process with that, that you add the book ID, which is your uh, um, identification on Amazon Kindle that you got. Uh, and then you basically just uh, add that um, identifier. And after that, you continue the whole process as you would actually do with any other advertising functionality. So that is how it's being done uh, for um, books that are being published outside of the published drive ecosystem. And um, yeah, I think about the targeting just in very um, nutshell uh, with the targeting option you have um, possibility to target uh, the products or other products on the whole um, Amazon ecosystem. Uh, we help uh, with the targeting option in a way that if you have the book uploaded into our system um, in a draft at least, then uh, we have an AI robot called Savan who is reading the books in the back end and uh, it will be basically reading the book and categorizing it. And also based on the category, it, uh, it, it is hooked up with the whole Amazon advertising um, system. And uh, we suggest the best category, best uh, books for you to target if you want to target other products on Amazon. Um, and I think that's also a really useful tool for many of the authors who are a bit intimidated by uh, the different targeting options. Then you can use, um, you know, keyword targeting as well. So basically all kind of targeting that is available uh, within the Amazon advertising um, feature on Amazon directly too. So, and, and that is the basic uh, additional feature that you can actually, first of all, uh, advertise books that are not published uh, in Publish Drive or by you. Uh, or uh, advertise uh, the books with different targeting options with some help that makes the whole process easier for you. That's all. Okay. I think we have a couple of more questions, which is, uh, do you need a bank account for Amazon ad? And the second question is, uh, the percentage published drive charges to author, uh, charges the author to run Amazon ads on published drive rather than directly on Amazon, different in cost for advertising. Yeah, so the bank, uh, so basically the cost for that is just the payment provider cost that we needed to add because you need to top up uh, your account with the uh, amount that you want to advertise on Amazon. And we use a payment provider for that and we charge only that kind of uh, amount that the payment provider charges which is about uh, 5%. Um, and uh, if you don't spend the money uh, that you topped up, 
that's fine. You can actually get a refund as well. So no worries about that. If you if you feel that you topped up too much money, you can get the refund. And for the refund, there is no additional cost. I think I answered both of them. Yes. You don't need yes. a bank account. You just top up uh, through your credit card or uh, PayPal or whatever. Yep. So you can actually go into your my account and you can set a promotional budget and you can top up your account uh, with whatever amount you want to put. So the minimum ad amount is, I guess, five dollars uh, to start with. Am I correct, Kinga? OK, great. Oh, yeah, so, let's, so let's look at uh, the second paid promotions, which is dry book sales. This is uh, newsletters, and also promotion listings by some of our partners like Written Word Media and also uh, other promotion which would uh, which would uh, we partner with they would be listed here this is also part of our promotion uh, paid promotions and the four other options which we have for uh, paid promotions are actually free of cost uh, the first and foremost uh, would just a moment uh, so the first and foremost would be featuring uh, featuring is uh, in-store promotions with uh, partner featured campaigns. How it works would be what, how we do is we connect with the stores. We like Apple, Kobo, Script, Overdrive, Otilok, and we try to get their promotional campaigns, which they are running in that month. And those campaigns would be listed here. Uh, for for every month and if your book is part is uh fitting into category of that campaign uh you can click on select and have your submission made and once the submission is approved by us uh that they, they would be sent to the stores usually the success rate for submission is uh 90 percent if it is approved by us and sent to the stores so the kind of campaigns which are uh, depend on uh, depend on month to month. So there would be different uh, campaigns, as as you can see. Uh, there would be some library campaigns. There would be some uh, campaigns about food. There would be some uh, campaigns about fiction books or any other cookbook campaigns according to the month uh, which we. In our and some of the campaigns are uh, permanent, like new releases and free books, which you can also select. So the other uh, promotions uh, part for, uh, would be also to request book reviews, which is an important part of promoting your book. So we provide an option wherein you can uh, actually have. Uh, request the book reviews are uh, directly what you have to do is the book uh, once you have selected the book you need to provide uh, the email address on which uh, you can uh, request a review so you select the store which store you want you want the review for and you can provide the email address and you can just click on request review copy and uh, the re your review email would be sent to the store The other two options are running price promotion campaigns for a certain period of time. Let's suppose you want to run a price promotion campaign for Christmas. You can uh, directly run that price promotion campaign through Publish Tribe, and they, that would be copied. Uh, your campaign would be sent to all the stores. And the fourth option would be to also uh, share social media stories, what which you can submit your entry here, and we'll happily share it with all our published tribe social channels. So moving on to the next uh, next part is sales analytics, uh, which we provide a reporting of your sales data. So as you can see on this page, uh, you can put a date filter on, on in here, and then you can see how many copies you were able to sell and how much earnings you had, which of were, which were your best performing titles, uh, what's the best category and the country and the price here and the store as well. So all the sales analytics would be mentioned here. 
And you can also get royalty payment reporting by clicking on the next option and the reports uh, would be available here for download. So you can download reports for every month and then you can, uh, you can view it. Some of the special services which we provide are uh, the printing cost. This is the print calculators for print on demand option. Currently we have two, uh, two of these categories active, which is Amazon print and China print. You can select any site of frame sizes, provide a page count and uh, weather color profile, and you can have uh, the print cost calculated here. The next option is royalty splitting. Royalty splitting is a special option which we provide uh, on the platform wherein you can create a team of co-authors and invite them, invite them to see your account. So your account would be shared by your, the co-authors and they would be able to see the royalty coming in. So this option is also uh, an extension to our second tool, which is Abacus. Abacus is a royalty sharing tool, which uh, royalty sharing reporting, which we have in which you can upload your KDP and ACX reports and also invite co-authors and add additional cost and have everyone would be able to uh, see the royalty reports uh, transparently. Now, some of the setup options which we have is Google Play, wherein you can uh, directly set up your Google Play account through Publish Drive. Uh, stores uh, would have an option to set up different imprints. So I can select, uh, I can have multiple imprints and select different stores in which we want, I want to publish the book from. And these imprints options would be listed when I'm publishing the book. And then moving on to the next option is uh, my account, where you can upload the payout settings uh, for the money sent from Publish Drive to you. Uh, the subscription setting where you can upload uh, the payment method for your plan. The different plans which would be available to you. Uh, any sort of financial events, whether the payout or uh, whether the payout or the payment ticket and also the budget where you can add promotional budget uh, to, for, for Amazon ads. So this is a nutshell, the account. I, I went through it really quickly because we were short on the time and we had some questions to answer. Any, anything you wanna add Kinga here? No, I don't think so for now. Okay, uh, two more things which I want to uh, add is Abacus is a royalty share, uh, royalty share reporting wherein you can create an account and have the royalty sharing done with your other co-authors. Uh, we currently provide one book free option. So if you would want to uh, check it out, you can just click on it and you can start uh, sharing your royalty reports. Also would be free ebook converter wherein you can convert your doc file into ebook files. Okay, so let's move on to the question and uh, answer round. Uh, let me just go ahead and see the Q and A's. So let's look at the first question, uh, which is how does print on demand work? Uh, yeah, for Kinga, this is for you, wherein how does the print on demand work? I found on your website description of the submission requirements. However, no information how the physical books are going to find their customers. What should I do to get this service and how does it work? Yeah, so for now, uh, how it works, it's basically that you actually upload your book uh, as a print version uh, to the Publish Drive uh, platform. Then um, we will, uh, so our team will review the books, whether they are in good shape, because we have different printers who we work with and um, they have different specifications. Currently, what is live is um, Amazon and uh, the Chinese uh, partners, but we are adding more printers very soon. And um, 
how people will actually find uh, the print on demand versions. It's uh, basically with the placement in different uh, stores. So in, with, in case of Amazon, uh, it will be added to the Amazon network, obviously, as a, as a wholesale, basically, or as a retail channel. And uh, with the Chinese partners, um, they will be added to all the Chinese stores that we support and also the digi to the digital libraries as well. And when we add new printers, uh, you will have the op opportunity to get into new markets as well with that. So that's how it works currently. And it's, it's growing really well as far as we could see. As I mentioned last year, a lot of shops were closed down. So um, people still wanted to buy physical books as well. And that's how basically uh, the whole print on demand market started to, to rise and, and thrive because um, people ordered books which were listed in the stores, uh, but they were printed just after they ordered it. And uh, the readers can see the same kind of um, quality and the same kind of you know, speed with the whole um, delivery as well. And with the marketing side, uh, you can use Amazon advertising uh, for the print books as well, for instance, uh, but it's really similar uh, how your whole book strategy and whole book marketing should be done. So as I mentioned previously, uh, on your website, on social media, you should also have um, book uh, reviews on your print version as well. It's really cool because on Amazon, you can also link the print and the ebook version uh, together so you will have only one book page and then you know uh, you can only uh, ad advertise one link and people can choose which one they want to actually buy from so it's, it's a really good uh, opportunity to uh, extend and uh, also have more sales from a new format and that's what we could see that the more successful authors are actually expanding to new formats and they have Actually, not just ebooks, but also print on demand and audiobooks as well. Thank you. Uh, to Kinga, how is the audiobook market doing? And could you give a very short insight about this? Yeah, so as we already stepped foot into the audio mar mar audiobook market just uh, before, uh, this is a really growing market. So we can see that. Um, there are not so many titles yet because to create an audiobook is more expensive. However, there are DIY options and if you have a good uh, performing skill, uh, because I talked to authors who were, you know, radio hosts before or something like that, uh, for them it's natural to DIY their uh, audiobook. However, if you want to hire someone, uh, you usually pay per hour and based on the skill levels and um, yeah, based on the skill levels, uh, you might pay um, 100, 200 or even $400 per hour, depending on how famous the actor you are actually hiring or the voice actor you are hiring. Um, but what we can see that uh, because of this, you know, uh, less com competition on the market because there are not so many titles yet as in ebooks for instance you have a better chance to stand out in the stores and um, we could see that for instance google audiobooks uh, were uh, increasing a lot uh, in this uh, first two quarters in 2021 compared to last year and we also could see that um, we are adding uh, a few more uh, stores very soon on the audiobook side as well, because we believe that uh, you could actually sell audiobooks in uh, even music subscription services as well. So that's something that uh, would be super exciting for everyone who is in the publishing area when the creative industries like music and publishing can, can converge and can um, work together. Thank you. So we have only a few minutes left and moving on to the next question is about the guideline for moving existing directly published books from Kindle, Kobo and Google Play to published via published wife. I think we have uh, such a guideline which we can share. Yes. So I think when we have a, a follow-up email, we can actually send that guideline to you 
uh, to, to everyone. We have it on our help center, by the way, I think, uh, for the specific stores as well. But we are happy to send it to you um, to make sure that you are covered with that. Uh, the next question is about publishing in Hungarian. In what way is that better than in-country printing? Mm, I'm not sure whether I understand the question, but yes, you can publish in Hungarian. And uh, in general, what we can see that uh, most of our content is in English. So um, that's, that's where we actually have the uh, biggest catalog. Uh, especially from the US and the UK, uh, but from Australia and Canada as well. Uh, however, if you publish in any other languages, um, at least uh, 40, but even more, even 50% of your sales will come outside of your local country, which is uh, super interesting because that's how you can actually reach people who would you probably never reach. Uh, with uh, printing or selling only locally. And um, yeah, I think that's the beauty of the whole digital publishing area because you can reach so many people worldwide, even on markets where you have never thought that you would actually have a, a reader who would pay for your book. So I think that's the beauty of it. And you can have 50% more sales as well. Okay. Uh, so I would just pick up uh, the last question uh, before we end the session. Uh, this session was sent by now and it was, it came to me in the email. So it says, what kind of partnership do you have with Ingram Spark and what are the uh, following terms uh, referring to Ingram, be an Ingram, Ingram Global Distribution, Ingram Overdrive, which is obtained from PD store list. So uh, the question is just one. Uh, what are your, uh, what, what, are, what kind of partnership do you have with Ingram? Ingram. Yeah, we will. So it's not live yet. It's uh, the beta, the closed beta is already running for Ingram partnership. So that's why you can see it in the store list. Um, and uh, hopefully very soon it will be live for everyone. Now for selected partners, we work with Ingram for now, and it's with the Lightning Source uh, print-on-demand partnership. So uh, we work with them on the global markets that they support, but uh, also on the US market and uh, locally in the UK and in Australia. Okay, great. Thank you, Kinga, for answering these questions. For the remaining questions, uh, what we'll do is we would uh, curate those answers along with uh, along with the recording of the session and send it to you over the email. I hope the session was useful for our authors and publishers, and we will back we will be back with some in other interesting topics soon. Uh, till then, thank you and have a great day ahead. Yes, thank you, everyone. Have a good one. And thank you for joining. And if you thank have you. any questions, just feel free to reach out. Bye.